Hi, Geminis, and welcome to your October 2016 general tarot forecast. My name is Sky, and I'm here to give you guys hopefully another really amazing reading for your month. So if you guys want to check out the description box below, um, I have a link to my shop. So if any of you would like to hop over and check it out, I would really appreciate it. Um, anyway, let's see what's going on for Geminis in October. So, um, first of all, I'll start with a little bit of good news. It looks like you're finally going to be able to get some time in solitude. You're going to be searching for it. You're going to finally get some of that time off that you were hoping from your job or some of the time to do the things that you needed to do alone. <clears throat> maybe some soul searching, maybe some nocturnal activity, like being able to go out and do some stargazing. You've got that hermit in the upright, so that's great. Also, you guys have that upright page of pentacles right in the middle, so you're getting some money that you didn't expect. It's not going to be anything huge. It's not going to be, a, for most of you guys, it's not going to be a huge amount of money. But um, small bonuses, um, saving here and there to where you just end up having more money than you expected, um, which is going to be really great for the Geminis out there. Um, you guys do actually have three major arcana cards in your reading for this month which is the Hermit, the Chariot reversed, and the Hanged Man reversed. And I always think that when you have three or more major arcana in uh, smaller spreads like this, that it really signifies that October is going to be a big month for you guys, that there's going to be a lot of energy going on. So as the major arcana go that you guys have, like I already touched on the Hermit a little bit, which is going to be um, getting to do those activities of solitude, of like recharging your batteries, um, having success with that in October. I'm going to go over to the chariot reversed there. There could potentially have been something in the recent past in September that you didn't feel you were victorious with. There could have been a business proposition or even a relationship that you felt was almost a failure of sense. And it's probably because of this that you guys are now finding yourself in the mode of the hermit, where you have to go within and recharge your batteries. You're kind of taking a moment to reflect on why that was a failure. Maybe it wasn't even a failure, but it just didn't taste, the victory of it didn't taste as sweet as you expected it to. It's like you may have even gotten what you wanted, but when you finally had it, it's like it wasn't what you expected. So now you're going in to reflect why is that the case? Like, you're trying to come to these conclusions within yourself. Why am I reacting this way to something that should be positive? Likely that could go the other way. Maybe a failure happened to you or one of your loved ones, and you didn't react as negatively as you thought you should. Like, maybe you actually felt a sense of victory or positivity about someone else else's failure, and that doesn't feel good to you. So now you're going within and you're thinking, why don't I feel worse about this? You know, it's, it's one extreme or the other for um, the month of October. <clears throat> and that's also definitely reflected in that Two of Swords you've got up in the top left corner. Now for that part of the spread, it's kind of like the peripheral energies that you have coming into your life. And on the left side, I'm definitely kind of considering that more of the past. So that definitely stacks up with the Chariot. The Chariot and the Two of Swords, all the two cards kind of have um, emit the archetype of the Chariot. So, um, you know, you've got in the Chariot, you've got that guy in between the two um, Sphinxes as they are in this deck, and in the Two of Swords, you've got the lady in between the two swords. So it's like some Geminis could be caught between a rock and a hard place. It could be um, kind of a doomed if you do, doomed if you don't situation going on, and that could be the reason that you're going within this month. That could be the reason why you're kind of trying to hyper-analyze this, and you're trying to figure out a way in which you can move through some of these more difficult energies without being doomed if you do, and without being doomed if you don't. You're trying to kind of rise above it all, above all the pettiness, above all of the tricks and games. Now, that's most of you. Some of the Geminis could have indulged in the um, quote-unquote tricks and games that I just talked about in the recent past, and now you're kind of reaping some of the small negative karma that you um, can experience for those things, and now you're on the defensive, okay? For some of the Geminis out there, you've got that um, seven of wands at the foundation of your reading, so you kind of might have people coming at you from all over, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, um, but definitely as it relates to business, this talks about a lot of different people needing a lot of different things and it being hard to get it all done. As it relates to relationships, this can be um, 
you know, having a lot of different people in your close, intimate circle coming at you needing things that potentially um, kind of mess with the other relationships, like where a friend comes in and needs something from you that um, inherently goes against the other friend, that's kind of the intrinsic energy of the Seven of Wands. Um, so just kind of apply that to your entire life and the entire spectrum of what you have going on right now. How are things coming into your life that kind of go against the grain of already solid things that exist in your life? <clears throat> okay, and on that top right corner, y'all got the hanged man reverse. Okay, you guys are finally ready to get out of this rut. You guys, things have been in kind of a limbo, a state of limbo, and... I think an opportunity is finally going to present itself in October where um, you guys have the chance to solve this, this state of limbo that some of the Geminis have found themselves in over the past few months. Like, finally, there's going to kind of be this, um, I don't know, I, I almost want to call it like a character-defining moment in October where you see how to fix it, which is really great. Yeah, I just got chills when I said that. It's like, um... The Geminis are finally going to, um, what do I want to say, almost like open a Pandora's box, kind of find their kryptonite, if you will, or the kryptonite to the, um, <laughs> to whoever the antagonist of your life is, Gemini. You're finally going to kind of find the skeleton key to unlock some of these, um, sort of hardened aspects of your inner personal world and that will reflect itself on the outside too which is really great um you know something else that i want to just kind of um go back and touch on a little bit more is the defensiveness i don't know if i said that specifically i know i talked about the chariot and the two of swords and how you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place another interpretation that i kind of want to take from it is that you guys are kind of on the defensive right now. You see in that seven of wands at the bottom of the spread, it's like he's holding the wand in front of him in like a defensive tactic. Also in the two of swords, she's kind of holding the swords in front of her and you could perhaps interpret it as her like, as it being a defensive tactic as well. <clears throat> so I think that a lot of Geminis are just trying to get to the truth and that's also represented by the hermit. You're trying to shine light on the dark areas of your life, and it almost seems like there are people around you who don't want that, who don't want you to do that right now. Um, people who are coming at you while you're trying to do this and trying to distract you. It might not be with malicious intent. Like, I'm not saying that these people don't want you to have these um, self-reflection periods where you come to more conclusions. I really don't think that's the case. But, you know, sometimes it can be hard to do that and maintain your day-to-day um, -day life routine. So if your reflectionary period that you need to take in October is really messing up your day-to-day um, -day commitments and routines, it kind of looks like people are going to be coming at you, and you could be really defensive towards them. Watch out for being snappy, watch out for being hostile, and watch out for, um, you know, just being kind of... And are just rude to people who don't maybe understand exactly what you're going through because no one can quite understand it even if you take time to articulate it this is all such things that's at such a strong self level that you kind of have to just know it yourself and don't get aggravated at the people who don't just understand it as easily as you do <clears throat> on the other hand like, make sure that you do take defensive tactic with potentially anyone who doesn't want you to come to these conclusions, because sometimes when you come to these conclusions of self, it changes things in your relationships. Sometimes it changes, um, you know, once you come to these conclusions about yourself, you start to see what no longer serves you in your life, and that potentially channels itself through your relationships. And it's important that you don't just cut people out for fun, but you've got to have that dialogue. You've got to, you've got to um, bring it up to them. Tell them the conclusions that you've come to and tell them that you don't feel that the current status of the relationship serves either of you and that you need for things to change, that you're trying to change and you would respect a mutual action. You know, if they won't do that, then you can cut them out. Like, you know, sometimes the air signs can be like, I don't know, I'm just going to try to make up a word like 
hyper cutative. <laughs> I don't know. You guys really can cut people out kind of at like the snap of a finger because you come to such like conclusions really quickly and um, you guys just kind of sometimes can be really quick to remove people when sometimes they don't completely deserve it. And they do deserve it when you've had the dialogue with them and when they refuse to help you on your own journey when you're helping them. That's when they deserve to be cut. But you've got to have that dialogue first because it's not fair to do that to someone um, on a whim, you know what I mean? You know, I also see potentially a lot of popularity for the Geminis in the month of October because of that page of pentacles. This could be at your work where people see your um, hard work and efforts and you're getting promotions and <clears throat> this kind of makes you a popular person in the workplace. So maybe you're going out a lot with coworkers or um, spending this extra money that you have and that's kind of putting you in places where other people are doing the same thing. So it, you know, you're all attracted to each other in the way that you're kind of in the same headspace. So you could just be attracting a lot of people, you know, the Seven of Wands also talks to like having a lot of people romantically interested in you <clears throat> or intimately interested in you and you're kind of like on the defensive and you're, you know, you're doing the self work and that's not really where your head is at so much right now. So that, just be careful about giving people the cold shoulder in that way. It's always good to explain to people, you know, where we're at and why we are the way that we are. If, um, <laughs> if it's possible to do that without like a seven hour conversation. Okay, yeah, I just got a, a bit of heavier energy. Some of the Geminis out there are going to be mourning the loss of somebody, and this will have already happened. I don't think that someone's going to die in October, so don't get too worried, but a lot of, some Geminis may be taking time to grieve either the death or the loss of someone in their life, like whether they died or whether they're no longer a part of your life. I'm getting that from the hanged man in reverse. You know, this is kind of heavy. I, this person could have committed suicide. I don't know, I just wanted to put it out there. And you're now taking that moment to go and grieve. You're going to the grave site. And I think that it's an important message just to say that um, this person, whether it was someone who died, who committed suicide, who um, is no longer a part of your life, is apologetic that they had to leave the way that they did. There are regrets from this person, especially the living, for the Geminis who have someone who just left their life and is not dead, there is a lot of regret for the way that they did it. And they are now feeling that. <clears throat> and know that these small financial gains, this page of pentacles that you have in the center, and it's not just financial, it can be, um, you know, gains of status, gains of general relationships, just where you're kind of gifted small things frequently from the universe. Know that these gifts that you're getting in October, Gemini, are good karma. It is because this person that has left your life regrets the way that they were and is now sending good karma your way. For those of the Geminis who had someone close to them die, know that these small gifts that you are getting are a form of their gratitude to the way you were to them when they were living. They want you to have an easier time um, moving about your life. So they have worked with the universe to give you more gifts of abundance. Okay, yeah, I'm getting perhaps some Geminis could be going to a funeral in October. Again, I'm not so much sensing, sensing that someone's going to die in October, so don't worry too much. This is something that might have happened in late September, or um, maybe it could even be the anniversary of a death. Um, but there's there could be like a ceremony, some kind of ceremony, like a wake or a funeral, because I also get that from the chariot reverse. It's kind of like um, a recession, like a funeral recession type of thing. And um, that hanged man in reverse is also where I'm getting this from is because it's like um, that that's just sort of the archetype that the hanged man exudes is someone who's <clears throat> kind of left this dimension 
and our own personal dimension, you know, that can apply to someone who's died or someone who's left our life. Regardless of whether they still live on this plane, they're no longer in our own personal realm. They're no longer on our energetic field. And this could be some of the reason why you're feeling so guarded, Gemini, because you don't want to have that breakdown. You don't want to have that moment where you fall apart with people. So you're just kind of trying to move forward. You're trying to, you're just kind of quiet right now. <clears throat> but it's okay. There are people in your life who you can be sincere and transparent with, and you know who those people are. Like you're worried that some people will take advantage of that state of mind for you, and some people will. But you know who the people in your life are who you can be transparent with. And so don't treat them like all these other people. Don't treat them like these people who you think would take advantage of you. Allow them to come in because they will allow that to you when they find themselves in a similar predicament. Anyway, I do express my sincerest condolences to any of the Geminis who have lost someone in their life, whether that be death or simply a more um, mundane form of life, or mundane form of loss, excuse me. But just take a moment to appreciate the good memories of the past. Don't dwell there. And move. allow yourself to move forward and experience the abundance that you're being gifted for your acts of love and your acts of kindness during the past. It's going to be a great October, Gemini's. Definitely some abundance coming your way. Popularity. You know, you have everything that you need to move forward, but take your time with the grieving process. And I hope that you guys have a really great month, and I'll see you guys for November readings. If you guys would like to engage in any commentary on the in um, below in the comment section, um, I would love to hear how this turned out for you guys, or how you might interpret this spread differently. Also, if you guys can check out my shop, I would be so appreciative. Have a great October.